And who am I? Some of you guys don't know who I am. I wasn't raised with money. My parents were Filipino immigrants. I'm a first generation born here in America. I went to the military for eight years because my parents didn't have money for me to go to college or nor the wherewithal and the know-how to how to help me to go to college. Nobody ever handed me anything until I learned how to what? Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. We're fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. All right, so I'm gonna give you one daily habit, daily. Not once a week, not once a month, not once a quarter, not once a year or whenever you feel like it, but a daily habit that if you do it right, will make you your first $100,000, We'll make you your first $500,000. We'll make you a first generation cash flow millionaire. And as uh, we discussed in a former podcast interview that I did with Daniel Kwok uh, at his studio, it could potentially make you a billion dollars. So I just recently went to a car show. I was invited to come to an exotic car show. They wanted me to display my car, which is a Rolls Royce Ghost. There's a lot of Lamborghinis there. There's Ferraris there. There's Porsches there. There's Wranglers on lifts. There was food trucks there, there's a DJ, uh, a lot of great conversations, a lot of great connections, uh, a, a lot of great you know, a turnout and just fun and excitement. You can tell the buzz, it was just people just wanted to get out and about and just get this pandemic behind us. Anyway, make a long story short, uh, as I entered and I parked and I was right in the middle, they put me right in the middle of, uh, of, of where everybody was walking. So in other words, everybody had to run across my car and, and by the way, this is my first time I've ever done this before. My son was with me, uh, Ivan was with me, and uh, Ali set this up. And so I get out of my car and people are like, ooh, and ah, you know, I've never seen a Rolls Royce before, which is, which is cool because listen, when I was growing up, up until I was an adult, 28 years old, 30 years old, that's when I actually first saw my first ever Rolls Royce. You know, I grew up taking a bus. You know, and it's uh, CTA and Pace, which is right here in uh, Chicago, is a public transit system. But I never grew up with a car. I bought my first car after coming back from the Persian Gulf War. That was my first car from the money I saved up from being in war. Anyway, make a long story short, people were just looking at me, and like, look, look in the car, and then they walk away. And then they look at me, and I, I knew they had this desire to ask questions, the desire to, what does this guy do? Because I didn't show up in a suit. I was just there in a, in a Jordan jersey and my kicks. Just hanging out, just shaking hands and, and, and just meeting people and just having a great time. And so I was looking at these folks that they sincerely had a desire to ask, I, I ask me a question because I can tell the look that people have in their eye, like, what does this guy do? And so the challenge with a lot of people, if they want to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, they want to grow their business, they want to expand their enterprise, they want to expand the way they make money to expand the way they think about money and finances is sadly they get too intimidated by people that have fancy cars a fancy suit a fancy title what do they call them a celebrity b-level artist entertainer whatever the case may be they get too enamored by the external and they never get to the internal and they never get to really know people and i call that the power of making connections not just introductions but just connection, where you really connect with people. You get introduced to somebody, you get introduced to this scenario, but you really start making connection with people, you really start making friends and associations and get to know what people are all about. So I'm gonna help you out in this video because I want you to make better connections. I want you to go about your business by improving the people that you talk to, the, the handshakes that you make, the fist bumps that you make, the conversation they make, because you're only one conversation away in my, in my career, if I've experienced this, you're only one conversation away to opening up a new market. You're only one conversation away from expanding in a new city and state. You're only one conversation away from hiring or recruiting somebody for your company, your firm, your movement, your organization that actually just explodes your business. Uh, that's happened to me time and time and time again where I was introduced to somebody, they introduced me to the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago to do Money Smart Week. I get introduced to somebody and they introduced somebody that got me on radio and TV. It just been somebody, somebody that got me to do a workshop. I did a workshop, lo and behold, somebody's watching and they got me my first um, a, a casting call for a first ever personal financial reality show called The Invested Life, which is sponsored by MSNBC. I was only one conversation away from uh, uh, being a national business plan judge for entrepreneurs were awarding quarter million bucks to various entrepreneurs if they get the right pitch and we read the business plan and thought they were worthy of a slice of $250,000. You're only one conversation away from you being financially independent and having that client pay you so 
so therefore you can start a business or expand your business and next thing you know you're not working for anybody else for the rest of your life you're cutting your own checks you got your own deal you're only one conversation away through the power of connections so how do you create better connections well first of all number one don't be intimidated by people's status their title their chief this their vice president this their millionaire status the car that they drive, the suit that they wear, the, the, the Rolex watches, the Patek Philippe's that they, that they wear, the purse that they hold, the shoes that they wear. Don't be intimidated by that type of crap, okay? That's just external stuff. So that's number one. Number two, start asking questions. So for example, I'm at this car show, right? And people are kind of, you know, 10 feet away from me, five feet away from me, whatever case, they're just taking pictures. A couple recognize the car, a couple recognize uh, my YouTube channel because I have the front license plate that says Seven Figure Squad. And, uh, but a couple of people are like, wow, I've never seen a Rolls Royce Ghost before. And I can tell, man, they're dreaming. I can tell, man, they want more out of life. I can tell, man, there's a desire and a burning fire in the gut, their spirit, that they're sick of their dead end job. They're sick of being kicked in the ass by COVID and pandemic and lockdowns. They're sick and tired of whatever they're doing. And a guy like me might potentially have a answer for them that might unlock a new opportunity, the way they think, the way they see things, but they didn't talk to me. So I brought them in, I said, hey, how you doing? How you doing? So I brought people inside the conference, hey, how you doing? And I started telling me, by the way, guys, can I ask you a question? How much do you think I pay for this car? And people are like, oh my gosh, maybe about 3,500 bucks a month, maybe 4,000 bucks a month, maybe 5,000 bucks a month. I said, listen, man, because somebody taught me entrepreneurship, because somebody introduced me to the insurance industry, because somebody taught me how to properly buy a car through a corporation, they taught me, assets and liabilities my net payment after this car after a five-year amortization period is 24 bucks a month by the way you haven't seen that video yet here's how i bought this car and paid 24 bucks a month check out this video and how i do this this is numbers for my cpa and how i file taxes and i've done this not only for this car but for my other cars i had previous because i just didn't start off with the rolls royce i started with the mercedes bmw bentley blah blah blah, blah. and eventually i landed into the rolls royce build of cash and credit and therefore I got to this level. Purchases Rolls Royce from a former NBA player, and here we are. But I was telling people, listen, ask questions. Just don't look at somebody externally, start asking questions. What are some of the questions you ask them? Can I ask you a question? How do you make your money? How did you get to where you're at? How does somebody like you drive a car like this? Did you need a college degree? What skills did you learn? What type of, uh, uh, what type of habits do you see in successful people that are in your industry? What are some of the problems and issues that people have in your industry? Because potentially you might be creating, maybe creating a solution to the problem that a lot of people have by asking questions, right? And for example, ask people also, how does somebody like me get started in something like this? How does somebody like me get started in something like this? What's, what's the biggest mistake somebody that does whatever it is that you're doing run across as a problem or cost them a lot of money that I could potentially avoid if this is something that I'd be willing to do. Because I'm looking, I'm searching, I'm looking for options for me to get up and out of my current dead-end situation, financially dead-end situation, okay? And then the third thing, ask them, listen, how does somebody like me shadow somebody like you or build a relationship with somebody like you or create connections with somebody like you? What is somebody in your industry, what do they need? What is somebody in your industry outside of just a normal pay position? Because I'm pretty sure pre people like you can ask, man, can you give me a job? Can you give me money? People are always asking you for something. Flip it on them. What is somebody like you? What does somebody need without getting charged for it? What can somebody like myself do to earn the respect and the time and potentially the mentorship and or the ability to shadow you doing what you do just to be around your circle, just to be around the people that you do business with, just to be the, the people that you uh, associate with? How can some like me learn from somebody like you? Because let me guys ask you a question. How many of you have seen that movie, American Gangster, which was played by Denzel Washington? And then Denzel Washington was actually shadowing the mob boss in that movie, American Gangster, right? He's shadowing the mob boss. You saw how we make collections. You saw how we built relationships. You saw how we gave to, back to the community. You saw when he had to be heavy handed. You saw when he, ne he needed to recruit. You saw when he needed to fire. You, needed, you saw how we needed to lay down discipline. All these different things. So therefore, when the mafia mob boss died in the movie American Gangster, Frank Lucas was the first African-American, first black mafia leader, took over that gang, the Italian gang, and the FBI didn't know who to look for. They didn't know who to look for. They were looking for a Frank Lucas until he came to a Muhammad Ali fight in a chinchilla suit. He realized, whoa, that's the guy we're looking for that's running the, 
the, the, the, the mob. But how do you learn how to do it? How did Frankie Lucas in that movie learn how to do that? Because he shadowed, he watched, he observed. And the thing with making connections to is this. Just don't look to stick your hand in somebody's pocket or be somebody else. Oh, you saw him once. Okay, I got nothing else to learn. I saw him two times. I got nothing else. I've been around for their one quarter, one year. I got nothing else to learn. I've, I've tapped out. No. You think that overnight success has happened, literally overnight? Do you honestly think people get rich quick overnight? And you would learn that if you hung around and shadowed the right people making millions for a sustainable period of time. They just don't make their millions and then they tap out. They just don't make their millions and next thing you know, they're no longer in business next year. No, no, I'm looking for the people who have sustained their level of income and or compounded. They're not the same person they were a year ago, three years ago, five years ago. See, I'm a big believer that people are either growing or dying, financially speaking, okay? And so if somebody, is somebody leveling up, constant level up, or are they good? You wanna always shadow the one that's hungry. You always wanna shadow the one that's excited. You wanna shadow the one that constantly wants to recreate themselves. That's the right person to shut, because you know why? Because you're recreating yourself. Now, here's the thing too, is what I always thought that growing up that rich people were jerks. Come to find out when I started hanging around rich people, they're actually givers. If you ask them the right questions, sure, a couple of them might be snobby at you, but here's the funny thing. The guys that I found that are really snobby are the guys make a quarter million bucks a year, half a million dollars a year, maybe 750 a year. But the guys that I found personally, individually, that starts making seven figures, Next thing you know, they're just making money hand over fist, have an automated system to make their money consistently over a period of time, an extended period of time. They've proven it's a good market, down market, good economy, bad, bad economy, pre-pandemic, pandemic, post-pandemic. Post Those are the guys that are the givers. Interesting enough. Interesting enough. So with that being said, guys, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your feedback. Put in the comment section below. Say, I am making better connections. If that's what you're going to be doing, put in the comment section, I am going to be making better connections. I want you to be making better connections. How? The three things I just mentioned to you. And if you do that, it's not going to happen over, you know, Matt, you know, Matt said, money smart guy said, if I make a reach out to you that you'd answer me right. No, 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 I didn't say that. You got to be able to build it over a period of time. That's the problem with a lot of people today. They're afraid to fail. They're afraid to deal with rejection. Are you going to face rejection? Yes. Are you going to fail a couple of times because you have the wrong approach? Yes. It's not because of the color of your skin. It's not because you're broke. It's because you don't have the right credit score. It's because your pitch sucked. It's because you didn't have the right things to say. You didn't have the right offer. You didn't ask the right questions to improve that. Stop buying into this victim mentality that you can't improve and build your life up better than what it currently is today. Don't buy into it. By the way, the greatest recruiters, the greatest attractors of attention are people that buy into the victimhood mentality. And who am I? Some of you guys don't know who I am. I wasn't raised with money. My parents were Filipino immigrants. I'm a first generation born here in America, which meant that I had a identity crisis. <laughs> I went to the military for eight years because my parents didn't have money for me to go to college or nor the wherewithal and the know-how to how to help me to go to college. I was a single dad. I was married and divorced. I was responsible for three kids as a single father with residential custody. I was able to raise my family because somebody introduced me to the insurance industry. Somebody introduced me to entrepreneurship. I'm what they call an autodidact. I'm a self-taught, self-learning type person. Nobody ever handed me anything until I learned how to what? Make connections. And I want you to do the same. So that being said, guys, if you want to make better connections, put in the comment section. I am going to be making better connections in the comment section below. And uh, send me on Instagram. Let me know, guys. Send me some screenshots of you making better connections. Hey, man, I can't believe I got the ear of this person. Man, I can't believe I made this type of connection. Man, I can't believe this guy led me to this deal. That led me to this deal. Man, I can't believe I left my dead-end job because somebody introduced me to this 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 person, this this person. Next, you know, six months later, I'm making $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 a month, part-time, full-time, whatever. I want to know about this. Send it to me. I might show it here in the next video about what you guys are doing in terms of implementing some of the things I'm asking you to do to better your life because... Life isn't going to give you what you deserve. Life is only going to give you what you're willing to fight for. And I hope you're willing to fight for your family. I hope you're financially willing to change and recreate yourself. And let's get after it because nobody's going to give it to you. Sure, somebody might give you a stimulus check. Sure, somebody might give you an unemployment check. Sure, you might get your tax refund, which is really an overpayment of what you paid already in taxes. That's another conversation. But what's after that? Are you really going to depend on church, charity, and government, and other people? Or are you going to start depending upon yourself? The choice is yours. That being said, guys, if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy, 
And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications and be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, guys, I'm your money smart guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to live smart, and be money smart today. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.